Is the lake of fire and hell the same? Of course, they're the exact same thing. The only reason why people get confused about this is because of older translations of the Bible, which are more inaccurate, like the King James Version. In Revelation chapter 14, it says death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. But of course, a lot of modern translations are so much better, and it says death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. There's a difference between Hades and hell. This is why a lot of people think that Jesus went to hell when he died, but this is false. He just went to hell. Hades slash Sheol, which just means the grave. Jesus went to Hades for three days and three nights. He was dead for three days and three nights. That's all Hades is. And it's actually where everybody goes when they die. And the imagery here becomes so much clearer in Revelation when it says that Hades gets thrown into hell, AKA the lake of fire, because the lake of fire is a place where things get destroyed. People even get destroyed too. So Hades is where all the dead people are. And when all the dead are raised and judgment day happens, Hades also gets destroyed because nobody's going going to be dead ever again. It's going to cease to exist, essentially. Remember John chapter 5, do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice, and will come forth those who did good deeds to the resurrection of life, and those who committed evil deeds to the resurrection of judgment. Nobody has been judged yet, because nobody has been raised from the dead yet. They're still in the tombs. In the tombs is another way of saying in Hades. When people are raised from Hades, they're going to either live forever or die for the second time.